Hello, it's that time of the month where I bust open the monthly Zobi Fright Pack box. Uh, the themes for this month, we have uh, Black Phone, uh, Lawnmower Man, and a strange one I'm not really expecting. This is not one I've seen from before. Uh, Head of the Family, which I would assume is a full moon release, very obscure one. Um, and then a mystery theme item. So. Here's the Zoe box. I'm gonna crack it open and uh, see what I get this month. Um, right off the bat, usually I get my Zoe boxes a little late. This one came pretty quick, so I'm very pleased by that. Uh, last month's box was a bit of a bummer, in my opinion, personally. I mean, some other people might have dug it, but I just didn't. Uh, I just felt that for it being October, could have been a little better. So. Uh, Let's see how November's is. Maybe it'll be different. Okay. Uh, t-shirt. Oh, so the t-shirt is a head of the family. I really don't know what the autograph is gonna be for this month. I would assume it probably would have been from like head of the family or a kid from Black Phone or something. Definitely not from Lawnmower Man. Um, let's see, next item up uh, is a pin. That is definitely from Lawnmower Man. So that's meaning the autograph could be from Black Phone. We'll see. It's kind of a neat pin. Uh, let's see. Hmm, maybe it's too. I don't know. Strange. So the print is actually black film. That's actually a really great looking print. Is it Max Cave? Um, I can't tell. I'm looking for a signature. I'm assuming it's very hard to tell, but it's a very little itty bitty signature right there. Um, that's a great looking print, so pleased. Uh, all right, let's. What's the autograph gonna be? Oh. Okay, I'm very impressed. Actually, I believe this is the uh, person that played Bar Count Barlow in the new uh, Salem's Lot remake. I don't know what his name is, but that that's a very good surprise, actually. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, this is Alexander Ward. So I'm uh I'm actually that this is actually pretty cool. It looks like for Lawnmower Man I actually got the uh rare one. It was limited to hundred cop pieces on that. So um Okay, I'm gonna in my opinion this is actually a way better box than last month, I think. Uh that is actually kind of a cool mystery thing because you had the potential to get uh, uh, it looks like the demon from Annabelle comes home um, Salem's Lot or American Horror Story so that was kind of a cool little possibility of pulling something um, I did actually watch the uh, new Salem's Lot remake I'll probably have to do a video on what I thought of that one uh, pretty soon but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased the print's really good. Was done by Max Cave. I just, I need to get more familiar with his signature. But the art, though, you can definitely tell it's Max Cave. <clears throat> um, oh, and Max Cave also did the shirt, by the way. Um, yeah, okay. Well, so this month, the box, probably the earliest I've ever seen a Zoe box come in. Um, the great print, shirt, eh. Um, autograph, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm keeping that one. Um, and it's the way that I like it. I don't, I don't like it when it's like the cover. I like, you know, when it's a print of the actual person, basically. Um, yeah, cool. All right, well, uh, there you go. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this month's box.
So November, great box. Uh, next month, I, it looks like it's a tribute to Nightmare on Elm Street. So I think they're doing like uh, two themes. I can't remember exactly which ones, but I'm looking forward to that because I, I do love Nightmare on Elm Street. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Um, just me rambling. Uh, I hope you're all okay out there because uh, the election is happening and it's not fun stuff. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Bye.